the knot I want to show you today is the clove hitch. So uh, I'm showing you on this post here for a reason, and I'll show you in a minute. I'm showing you two different ways. So first way is you take your rope and uh, sorry, you take take your rope around the tree and you come back and you cross it. So I've gone around the tree, I've come over, I've crossed it. I'm not going to make it too tight yet. So when I come back around, I'm going to take the working end, feed it through underneath where the rope's crossed, and then tighten. So when you're done, your load's going over here. You have your working end kind of, and they're both coming out the middle of this cross. And uh, on the back, you just have two parallel ropes that's all you see and uh, this will give you uh, a good way to start a tarp or something like that that could be under a lot of load that uh, is easy to uh, untie the other way to do this is if for some reason you don't have a uh, don't have the working end of your rope for whatever reason you need to be in the middle of your rope uh, but you do have access to the top of your post you're attaching to um, see if I'm on screen here. So, if you do, I'll do this on the ground so it's a little easier to see, but uh, if you make two loops, and I've come in, and gone underneath and around, and then for the other one, I've done the same thing. I've come in, I've gone underneath, and looped under. So if you take these two, I'm taking this one here, putting it underneath. Then I'm just going to slide it onto my pole here. And uh, be tidied up a little bit. You'll have a clove hitch. Again, the two pieces of rope are coming out of, I call it the middle, but you have two parallel pieces of rope and it's crossing over. So let me show you again on the ground here, just so it's a little easier to see. So uh, I just put this stick in the ground here. I've been using it for something else today. So, uh, like I said, you don't have to be at the end of your rope, but uh, I just happened to for ease today. So what you you come in with, uh, I'm going to call it the working end, although it you know uh, we'll call it the working end. So you come in, you go underneath and around. So a loop. And then you do the exact same thing again underneath. They both have to be on top. So it goes around. So it finishes the loop on top. So when you take these two, you want to take your right hand one and put it underneath your left. So you can see it's starting to kind of look like a clove hitch. And when we tighten it on the pole here, or the stick, you'll see we have the same uh, clove hitch um, but you have to have access to the top and a lot of times you won't but if you do that's another option for you thanks for uh, watching your support and comments and we'll see you on the next video